Legion, and we back with another reaction. I'm Kev. Sophia the Kev's on the Ask Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to make sure I walk them. Everybody. Ladies and gentlemen. Men and women. We're about to watch The Best of Bill Blur, Domestic Violence, and Gold Digger Whores, part one. Back with another BB reaction. You know, Bill is hilarious. All right, y'all, let's see what they talk. Yeah, it's violence and Gold Digger Whore. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, it's funny. Don't we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for the view, when they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo, you know? Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard <laughs> drawers <laughs> because she didn't dry the can opener off properly, you know? Yeah. It's gonna fucking rust, right? How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Like, who, who, it's like, Peter's <coughs> Peter's watching, oh, fuck, ah! Now I get it, up to daisy, sweetheart, here we go. Here you go, oh. <laughs> so at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. You can wake me from a drunken stupor, I can still give you like nine. Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. But to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? You're never annoying. Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? <laughs> Damn, damn. <laughs> Shit, every day. You didn't do it, right? <laughs> oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor. You your divorce papers. You gotta move out, sleep on a futon. house that she's gonna stay in. No reason. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty oh, of fucking burn out reasons out of <laughs> in that arc of a story. Alright, that was a hypothetical. <laughs> yeah, that'd be happening. Yeah, the actual story? I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Alright, I fucked up my foot playing drums. Trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's. Because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this this is gonna lead me to the light, right? <laughs> this this is what I need to do. So I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I played for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like a literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. I'll be fine, right? Next morning I wake up. My foot's even worse. And I gotta walk my crazy dog. So I'm like I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up my girl. Sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do your afternoon shift? <laughs> She's just like, oh. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always gotta, like, waterboard me with, like, a 20 minute explanation <laughs> that eventually winds its way around and say, go, say no. Yourself. Just say no. <laughs> Limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? <laughs> so now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's. Fuck, fuck your bullshit. Dog's walking next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit, I got a little childish. I did. I got a little childish. You know, I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in. You're just gonna do whatever the hell you wanna do, right? And fuck me. Fine, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I wanna do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. So that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. <laughs> that was it. She came down the hall, I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. Ghosting. Just trying to piss her off. And I gotta tell you something work like a charm. Work like a charm. Yeah, hung my coat up, turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song. That was <laughs> like, oh, one of the highlights of the relationship. So I knew what she was saying. It's like, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So 
I flip over, I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, no, we're gonna talk about this right now. Comes out, poof, and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears, it fucking hurt. So I'm like, honey, leave me alone. I don't wanna talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poof, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. Caveman DNA starts coming up. Talking through my teeth. Honey, leave me alone. Don't wanna talk about it, right? Put them on third time, she comes up. Poop, slaps him right across the room, and I <laughs> snap. I'm like, fine, you want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. <laughs> when you calm down. Adds you don't hit her like this. I just yeah. wanted to roll her up on a yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. Just leave her there until she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. You made your point. This, this is ridiculous. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. When you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. <laughs> you say there's no reason, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you gonna solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> it has to be you over there. A woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What does is, what is answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special <laughs> during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taking the What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I know, right? You fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're going to like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. <laughs> what did she even answer say? Answer him! Answer him! Oh, answer him. Every fucking special I do, there's always one! <laughs> always, right down the fucking middle. Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. Damn. I think you just added another reason. <laughs> I'm just asking him. I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. <laughs> fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Look, I understand hitting a woman is a bad thing, okay? What do you, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Look, if I get bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? All right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? <laughs> How did a snake get so mad? It almost killed you. <laughs> Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. They sift through the debris. You see what? How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, do a casserole, and just start swinging. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist, they should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? You know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. Never ask what she did. Just say it, dude. In your heart of hearts. What do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, that's the wrong way. You know? Or you think maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said? Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends. <laughs>
you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is the core of a lot of that shit. You know? And I gotta tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued. But after 20 years of losing every significant battle in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right? No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about. Maybe they'll be wrong with that. And in their head, they just start concocting this evil statement. Totally designed. This desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad you just call him a cunt. <laughs> what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one. That's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it. You're in this room now, right? <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, <laughs> just screaming up at the younger couple. Turn it down! <laughs> that is music! So I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, I don't know what she just feels like. That's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I grow I lose my shit. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right. What happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, just know this. Next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere. Okay, you're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you won the fight, okay? All right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. Because <laughs> okay, you got a little dick, just let that slide. Stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay, it's over. The argument is over, you won. Just take a knee and run out the clock, all right? <laughs> just get tired. Lean on the ropes. Let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw their psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later. Would you calm down? <laughs> and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. You rub one out like a man. It's a champagne of victory. Oh, that's what I've learned. I finally learned to like keep my cool in my relationship. Happened a couple years ago, right? Me and my girl had this big argument one day, right? Actually, you, know, you guys want to hear something? You want to hear the, about the time my girl punched me in the face? Yeah. Damn, that was a year. Want to hear that one? This is what happened. To be, <laughs> but really honest, the fight started like three months earlier. <laughs> it's like the middle of March. We're just driving around. You know, since she sees this closing store, she's like, oh my god, I didn't know they had one of those out here. We need to stop and go in there. So I'm like, fuck it, let's go in there. I walk in immediately, I see it's one of these stores that doesn't have any chairs. I know what they're trying to do. I'm gonna be standing right next to her and when she likes something, I gotta buy it. I don't give a fuck. I'm not playing that. I go over and I sit down underneath the mannequin. Got like the dress hanging in my head. <laughs> Sir, you can't sit there. I don't give a fuck. Looks like I'm doing it. Looks like I'm doing it, right? <laughs> so unbeknownst to me, she finds some sweater that she likes, right? Some ridiculously priced, like 400 bucks or some shit like that, right? So she knows it's not her birthday, none of that crap. She can't ask me for it. So now she's got to go into manipulation mode. What do I use? What do I use? Do I be sad? Do I pout? Do I use sex? Can't do that. You know what she went with? She went with the little girl. All right? She just came out. She's just like. Hello. I'm like, what's up? She's like, saw something that I liked. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> I just want to be like, well, then why don't you fucking pay for it? So <laughs> <laughs> she goes over and she shows it to me, right? And I'm like, it's 400 bucks. She goes, can you get it? I go, no, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. It's not your birthday. It's not Valentine's Day. It's March. I'm going to get you that for St. Patrick's Day. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. We're driving home and somehow she manipulated the argument, not that she asked for the sweater, and not that I said no, it was the way I said no, right? Got in this huge argument, got so mad by the time I, we got to, back to the house, I just told her to get out, I'm driving away, so I just drove away in the priest, right? 
So I was so fucked up about it, I had to call my, my sister up, right? Call her up to get a female perspective. She's laughing her ass off, going, you took all the bait, you're an idiot. I go, what do I do? She goes, well, why don't you go back down to the store and just buy the sweater? Hold on to it and give it to her a few months later for her birthday. And I'm like, fucking genius. Genius. <laughs> I hate the pressure of the birthday. All her friends, so oh, what are you getting there? What are you going to get her fucking sweater, bitch? Bam. I said, <laughs> Bam. Bam. We got manipulated by the sister to buy the sweater. <laughs> sister, well, let's get it for a birthday. <laughs> she, oh my God, you already got it. Lord, that's how my mom be too. Well, she's trying to pick up what movie to get. <laughs> well, I was, I was ready for her to get to the part when she punched me in the face. Well, it's part two. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, like they said it was three months ahead of time. Yeah. Right? I guess we got to get Lodge Part 2 to see. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, that, that was funny, y'all. I can't even lie. He be cracking me up. Mm hmm. He's hilarious. Another great laugh with Bill. You know what I'm saying? Another yeah. Great He's been cracking me up when we tell his little stories and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely can't wait to on the watch part two, see how he got pressed in the face. Yeah, I, I gotta see how I get to that. Probably at the birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Some guys do this, come home, had a long day. He said, Oh, tuna cash, bro. I don't want that. That's not sure. Like that show we watched. <laughs> <laughs> like Rihanna just sitting there like, I think they did just get. No, they was arguing. They got to a heated argument. You know she Caribbean. And got crazy. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is another great, great reaction to um, Bibi. Great stand up for BB. You know what I'm saying? That's my nickname for him. Any more yeah. Bill, BB's, Bill, or um, react, um, video like us to react to, just comment down below and leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Absolutely. So you'll always and make sure to check out the Bill um, playlist. Be a blur. I, I, I don't care. Sophia the K. Peace.